Okay, we're doing juicy questions, guys. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Hallie, if you didn't know, now you know. Today we are doing a get to know me. And I probably should have done this as my first video, but I'm kind of slacking. I really wanted to post a, post a vlog because I think that's what my channel is going to mostly about. I think this is like a video that needs to be made. And I know I said I was going to post my two competitions next, but it won't be posted for a long time. So in the meantime, we are posting this. And maybe like a get ready with me, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And also the nails are still surviving. They've grown out a lot and I had to get them trimmed because of cheer, but they're still they're still on. Anyways, so we got my laptop here and I'm going to search up like get to know me questions because I don't know what else to do. So the first question is What's your favorite quality about yourself and also what's your least favorite quality about yourself? My favorite quality is probably like my determination because when I set my mind to something, I'm like I'm really determined to get it done or get it finished. Like I like really like especially with cheer, you can see like I push through. Even if I'm like having one of my hardest days, I push through. And which I guess say the same about school, but yeah, that brings me on to my least favorite quality, my procrastination. That really shows in my school and my schoolwork because I always wait until the last day of like the grace period or like we have like a five day, I don't know, yeah, grace period at my school and I always wait until the very last day, yeah, to submit it. Next question. No. Okay, what is something that you're really bad at? I would say something that I'm really bad at is positive self-talk. Like, uh, that, uh, that's what one of my New Year's like goals is, for the, like the rest of the year. Like, for positive self-talk, it's much needed. And, like, I do it all the time in cheer, like, for myself, because, I don't know, I'm getting better at it. Like, I recognize that, like, me, like, I'll be my, like, biggest supporter, and, like, I'm a very in independent person, and, like, I have the mindset, if no one's gonna do it for you, you have to do it for yourself, or you have to do it yourself, I feel like that's kind of, like, toxic in a way, but I, I don't know, I just have that mindset. What's your biggest life regret so far? I would probably say, not thinking things through. Um, like I can't, like there's too many like specific moments that like, I, I don't know. I just like, yeah, this one thing like I do sometimes and I'm really trying to work on, like I need to think things through before I actually like pursue them. Does your family have any big traditions? My family? Um, like, the only one I can think of for Christmas Eve, we all, like me, my siblings, like we all get like Christmas Eve boxes and it's filled with like a bunch of stuff, like books, pajamas, chocolate, like all that good stuff. And if you want to see what I got in my Christmas Eve box, you can go check out my Christmas haul video, which I'll put that right there. Who do I admire the most and why? I, I admire so many people for so many different things. But just for like in life in general, I really admire my mom because she's just been through so much and she's such a kind person and she's just like everything I want to be. Except with the kids. I'm not having kids. No way. Do you believe in astrology? Why or why not? I would say... Like, I'm not an active believer. I used to be really, really into it, not gonna lie. But, like, I'm not that type of person to not hang out with someone because they're, like, an Aquarius or something. Like, yeah, like, I know my star sign. I'm like, yeah, that, like, that makes sense sometimes. But, like, I don't think that, like, 
the moon has something to do with like what you are. I don't know. But like, that's kind of contradicting because I like, well, because I have tarot and I have like crystals. Maybe I need to do like a crystal haul because these, I have so many beauties over here. You should see. Have you ever had a spiritual experience? Okay, so I'll put like a timestamp here because I know some people won't want to watch like me answering this question and that's fine. Like a spiritual experience, I've had like, the, my mom goes to psychics and she, I don't know, has said a lot about me. Like there's, for example, I'm supposed to be someone really close to my great grandma. And fun fact, she actually died a year before I was born and I was born on her birthday. We look exactly like to a T growing up. And yeah, and I was also given something by a psychic. I will show you guys. Okay, here it is. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it has like, um, this is what it looks like inside and has like a butterfly. I'm not really sure, like psychic just gave it to my mom. I'm not really sure like what the symbolism is, but she told me that I'm always supposed to keep it with me. So yeah. Okay, what's one place that you've always dreamed of going? I have so many places, but like, I really want to go to like somewhere in Europe. Like, I'm really, I really want to go to Italy, but I think we're going for like our senior trip. I really want to go to Germany. I want to see Taylor Swift in Germany. So, still trying to convince my parents, still trying. Um, Hawaii, even though I've been there a, like a few times, but I was like too young to remember. And then, I know this isn't like a place, but there's this huge cheer competition in Dallas, Texas. Why did I say Texas like that? I don't know, but Dallas, Texas. And I've been wanting to go to it for so long and I'm actually going this March. That was definitely on my bucket list. So I, I will be vlogging that, so stay tuned. Okay. What's your favorite sport to watch? I'm gonna be talking about this for a little bit. Um, cheer, because I'm a part of it. And I like to see like how other teams, I don't know, perform. And I love just, I love just to watch cheer. It's so, like, it's so entertaining. Um, especially if you do like facials and stuff, which I mean, you get points for that. But like, lots of teams don't do facials and it's crazy. If you catch me in the right mood at practice, I will do facials. But at, com at competitions, I'm always doing facials. Like, even if I look crazy, I'm doing facials. I've been doing cheer since I was in kindergarten or grade one, I can't remember. And then I took a break in grade six and I did musical theater. Yeah, I was a theater kid. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> that was so rude. Um, but no, I actually hated being a theater kid. So, yeah, it's done and over with. We can stop laughing now. Yeah, I didn't do anything for grade seven, grade eight, grade nine. And then at the very end of grade nine, I was like, mom, I need to do cheer. I see all these people on my For You page doing cheer. I need to do cheer too. And I've, I haven't been anywhere like out of the country yet. The farthest I've gone for cheer is like Calgary, which is fine by me. I'm going to Texas in two months. I, I can't believe I'm doing that. Like that, I'm actually scared. I guess this would be kindergarten, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, nine, 10. Well, I guess I can't really count nine, so 10, 11. So eight years, we've been, we've been doing cheer for eight years and somehow in those eight years, I can't, I can't tumble. I'll show you my tumble and highlights right here or I'll probably put them on the screen. So hope you enjoyed those. That's all about cheer. I really love it. It really filled a void in me and it's a huge part of like who I am. Yeah, what's your dream career? I really want to become 
a sports psychologist and like it's because I really want to stay in like the sports world because I, I just don't know how I'm gonna live without that now and like psychology because I just like the way people's mind works honestly like intrigues me so much and I really want to be able to like, also I really want to be able to help people and like I don't like I was thinking about becoming like a nurse or something or something like I don't know health related I guess that's mental health I don't know just like something like I don't know and I just don't like touching people like I mean like my love language is like physical touch but I just don't I don't want to like be like a chiropractor and like crack people or like be um a physio like I wanted to do that I don't want to touch people so I don't know I just wanted a different way of helping people and like mental health is like getting big these days and I I just really want to do it because sports like therapy has really helped me so I just want to give that opportunity to other people okay worst song worst song I actually really like a lot of music but if I had to say worst singer, no, let's change the question, worst singer. I hate Jason Derulo. If you play Jason Derulo, get out. I literally hate him. And I've heard he's awful to his fans. Like, on more than like one occasion, I, I just don't like him at all. Like, I hate, I hate Jason Derulo. Least favorite Taylor Swift song. Um, I do have a reason for this. Nobody, no crime. And I know it's like a fan favorite, but oh my God, that has been at the top of my Spotify wrapped for three years, three. And I don't even like that song. Like I, I love Taylor Swift and I'm like obsessed with her, but like, my favorite albums are Reputation and 1989. And of course, like, others, I like others, but those are, like, the top two. And I've never really liked Evermore or, like, any song in Evermore. I was more so, like, yeah, 1989 Reputation. And I, like, I, I am actually so mad. I think Spotify is screwing me over with putting Nobody No Crime, like, somewhere in the top five in the past three years i will try and find a picture i'm like fuming because i have so listened to other songs and not nobody no crime like go away okay do you have any pets i, I do i got two do i got a fish i don't know he might be dead <laughs> i don't know he tried to kill himself a while ago um um, I'll put the video for that because that, that's so funny. Okay, so I'm just editing right now. Um, I can't find the video, but basically what happens is me and Jada go up the stairs. We see this fish, like we're trying to feed it. And um, it's one of those like fish you can like make follow your finger. And he, instead of following my finger, he jumped out at me. And me and Jada were both too scared to put him back in like his little fishbowl but yeah he jumped out of the fishbowl and he was like out of it for a long time um <laughs> no okay that made me sound really mean i just gotta say disclaimer it's not funny to joke about offering yourself it's a very serious situation and i don't i don't want to hurt no feelings but yeah the fish tried to off itself so pets, so I have two dogs. One is a Cavalier King Charles named Benny, he's so cute. He is six years old. And then I got a Cockapoo, which is a mix between a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle. And he's also six years old and his name is Charlie. He's so cute. Yeah, people disagree about that because he, I don't know. Broken Jada says he looks like a rat. But I love Charlie, he's so cute. What is a skill you've always wanted to learn? Round off, back handspring, tuck. I can actually kind of do a tuck. Um, I want to do a standing tuck, a back tuck, um, front handspring, layout, um. Tumbling, I just want to tumble. I want to tumble. 
most relaxing part of my day. Yeah, go fish. Um, yeah, most relaxing part of my day is when school ends. What's the worst job you think there is? I actually used to have a big long list saved in my notes because I didn't know what I, wanna, what I wanted to do. And it was like a mile long. I don't want to be a fast food worker. I don't want to work at a gas station. I don't want to um, be an engineer. I don't want to be a nurse. I don't want to be a chiropractor. I don't want to be a lawyer. I don't want to do any volunteer work. I don't want to literally do a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to do funny get to know questions now because I'm kind of bored. Why are pizzas usually round? I'm not, I'm not kidding. That's actually a question. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there, number four. I don't know, pizzas are just round. You like, you roll them out and then like you, sh you shape them and they're round. I don't know. Have you ever fallen asleep in class? I actually have not. Like I literally can't fall asleep ever. Like I just have had so many sleeping problems over the years. Like since I was born, like I cannot sleep. If you could erase one color from existence, which one? Um, like baby poop green. <laughs> no, I feel like this vlog is turning into something really weird. Biggest drama queen in my family, Sydney and Emily. I will be so straight up with that. Sydney and Emily. Eyelashes or eyebrows? Um, eyelashes all the way because I basically have to pencil my eyebrows in, like, in general because I'm very blonde and my eyebrows are blonde. Okay, we're doing juicy questions, guys. Um, okay. Never mind. We're not gonna talk about that. Okay, you know, that's where we're gonna end the video because I don't wanna read any more of these questions. Maybe in the future I will put what you put on your Instagram and like you can type in like answers. I don't know, maybe I'll do that. That's probably what I should have done, but like I feel like no one would answer it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because just do it, please. <laughs> That's my only um, way of convincing you. Please. I hope you guys liked watching my video. Please subscribe and bye.